As the oldest son, 21-year-old Ibrahim felt responsible for leading his family in their Muslim faith. But one day, on the way to the mosque, everything changed. I heard Christians were gathering nearby, and something kept telling me to join them. I hesitated because I was a Muslim, but the voice said, just go. Instead of going to the mosque as he had planned, Ibrahim stopped at the home of Christians who had gathered to watch some CBN programs. I watched the 700 Club. I saw the story of Yusuf, a former Islamic Imam who became a Christian. I was shocked because he was my teacher. He had taught me the Quran. Ibrahim did not just listen to the program, he made a decision. I realized my teacher had chosen the right way. So I decided to become a Christian too. When Ibrahim explained his decision, his family was shocked. Their reaction was swift. They threw me out of the house. My uncle, who oversaw our family affairs since the death of my father, insisted that I should be cut off from the family. Ibrahim faced persecution and hardship. Worst of all, his eyesight suddenly began to fail and he couldn't afford medical treatment. When his family learned of his increasing blindness, they allowed him to return home. One night as he lay on his bed, he experienced a miracle. Although I was alone in the room, I heard someone call my name three times. Then I had a vision where Jesus appeared to me. I saw two hands dripping blood. The blood dropped on me. When he awoke, he discovered a wonderful surprise. I could see clearly again, like a normal human being. It felt like all the burdens of my heart disappeared. Although my family is still Muslim, they know that when I pray, my prayers get answered. They believe that through me, God can do great things in our family. If the 700 Club can take the gospel to Muslims, I know more people will decide to become Christians.